I met this six-year-old child with this blank, pale, emotionless face and the blackest eyes, the devil's eyes. What's going on, moviegoers? So when is this final trailer for Halloween gonna drop? Because I need it as soon as possible. We are damn near two months out from this movie and I am so excited. It is my most anticipated movie of the year and I just cannot wait to see what David Gordon Green and Jamie Lee Curtis have mixed up to put into one final chapter, I feel, for Laurie Strode and Michael Myers. I don't know if they plan to do any sequels. You can't really announce stuff like that this early because we don't know how the ending's gonna take. So that's been put on hold, but I'm pretty sure, you know, once the film's out, they'll announce, you know, if there's a possible sequel. What I would like to see a sequel, who knows? I mean, like I said, if this could be the final chapter for Laurie Strode, or even this could be the final chapter for Michael Myers. Like, there's really no, no way you can really take it. So I'm curious to see what really happens by the end of this movie. Um, but with that being said, John Carpenter did finish the, the soundtrack, and I'm extremely excited to see what this man has put together, what masterpiece he's put together, because what he did with that first soundtrack was astonishing, simplistic, and just beautiful. That theme song, Halloween, is it's just so iconic. You put it on, you know you know what it means. Like, you just do. It's, it's Michael fucking Myers. Period, point blank. I tried to listen to it on iTunes. All you can do is pre-order it. You can't review it. You can't sample it. I was like, damn it. I was like, I wanted to hear a little bit of it. Just a little bit of it. I'm curious to see what he mixed together with old and new for this new movie. So, hopefully we get to hear a little, little bits and pieces of it. You know sprinkled out maybe within the next month and a half or so so let's hope and pray but let's talk about that first trailer i feel like i never really broke down that first trailer of you know the homages and you know the references and stuff like that because i love that first trailer that first trailer was fucking fantastic it did it for me it got me so extremely pumped for this movie i just couldn't believe it like some of the shit i saw in that trailer i was just like i'm so with it i am so with it and i was so happy how it was cut and put together. It was just, it was phenomenal. Phenomenal trailer for Halloween. But let's talk about some of the references and stuff. Right off the bat, the stupid fucking reporters, the dumb reporters at the beginning of the trailer going to the asylum and trying to do what? What are you trying to do? What are you trying to accomplish by trying to talk to Michael? Somebody who probably hasn't said a fucking word in 40 years. Longer than that. <laughs> probably longer than that you know so like what are you trying to accomplish they triggered something in his fucking brain to make him snap again from showing him his mask the asylum I feel like you know the color palette on the floor with the you know the white and like um, whatever color that oh, fuck, what color was that damn it it was like an orange like whatever that is and the dog barking because if you remember I feel like showing him the mask and the dog. The dog barking especially. So if you remember in the first Halloween movie, right? When, you know, before he killed Annie, he killed Lester, the family dog. And the dog was barking. And that was the same kind of dog, too, in the, in the barking. Even for me, when I, you know, I was watching it, it was reminiscent of the first Halloween movie. So I feel like showing between the dog barking and that the mask, it triggered something in this man. It triggered the killer in him to come back out 40 years later. So those reporters, I hope you get what you got coming to you motherfuckers. Because <laughs> you did something so stupid. You did something that you were completely not supposed to do. And you triggered something in this killer and to make him snap again. So I found that to be pretty interesting as well. And obviously we got, you know, references from, you know, the, the sketches of Annie Wilkes. I think that's her name, last name, Wilkes, whatever, um, of her autopsy and um, Dr. Loomis. Now, of course, Dr. Loomis will not be in this movie, um, but I heard there's going to be a voiceover of Dr. Loomis of somebody who's you know, doing the voice of Dr. Loomis. So I'm curious to see how that sounds from what, I, from what David Gordon Green said that it was pretty fucking spot on. So I'm curious to see how, how that, and how, how they use that. You know, maybe what we're gonna get that iconic, the blackest eyes, devil eyes, something like that. And one thing I would like to say, this Michael Myers, I like his mask. And I like the fact that you can't see the inside. I feel like they faded away from that shit when you saw like H2O or Resurrection. 
You saw like skin and eyes. I'm like, why are you showing that? I was like, you're, you're taking away from the point of what Dr. Loomis said. You know, the darkest eyes, the blackest eyes, the devil's eyes. I was like, and you're showing his, his actual eyes and shit, eyelids and shit like that. I was like, no, make that shit super black and you can't see anything. That is what makes it even more scarier. So I'm happy that they're going that direction in this film and not fucking it up like previous Halloween films. Um, but even the bathroom scene, when he dropped the teeth over the bathroom stall, I feel like that was homage to Halloween H2O. You know, when the mother and daughter dropped, dropped by to use the restroom and then Michael came into the restroom, snatched her bag, took her keys and left. I feel like that was homage to that. Danny McBride did say that they will be paying, you know, respect and homages to all the Halloween films in this movie. So it totally makes sense. Or even, you know, when after like in the, in the trailer when he puts on the mask and he's walking Haddonfield and he runs into that kid. I feel like that was a reference to the first Halloween. You know, when those kids were picking on Tommy Doyle and he drops his pumpkin and they all run away and then he runs into Michael and he grabs him by the arms. I feel like that was like a homage to, you know, Halloween. So I found that to be pretty cool. You know, they clarified the whole rump, the whole brother thing and then saying it was just a rumor. Now that really wasn't solidified until Halloween 2. You know, that's when, you know, they said that they were related. So, but Halloween 2 does not exist in this world anymore, as we all know. Um, even the sheet over the, you know, the body when he was in the room and he had the white sheet over his face. I feel like that was homage and a reference to the first Halloween when, you know, he went to go get uh, his chick a beer. I forgot her name. And, you know, he came back with the glasses over the face and the whole bed sheets and stuff like that. I feel like that was a homage to that. Um, what else? Yeah. But like I said, man, that asylum scene, those stupid reporters did something did something, triggered something, and made this man snap again 40 years later. But I'm super excited, you guys. I'm glad that I got to really dive deep into that trailer and talk it over with you guys. You know, like I said, that trailer was fucking dope as hell. When you dropped your teeth over the stall, I was like, Ooh, ain't no joke, ain't no joke. I can't wait to see what's gonna happen. Even from hearing the, the description footage that was shown at Comic-Con that people were talking about, you know, you know what was shown and going through door to door killing people like crazy killing people insane like i cannot wait for this movie hopefully we get that final trailer maybe soon maybe by mid-september i'm hoping i need it i i really want to see this final trailer and what they can put together without spoiling too much but post your comments down below you guys let me know what you guys think about all the homages and references in that first trailer and when do you think they're going to drop this final halloween trailer or do you even want a final halloween trailer Post your comments down below, and thank you for taking time out of your day to watch Zero Productions. Peace.